Hello from Tweed Bank in the borders where I'm about to board the train to Edinburgh and how nice it is to see a mainline railway closed in the 1960s reopened and I noticed that the local councillor was called Parker who reopened this station. No relative I might add. <laughs> a nice view of Edinburgh and the train to Tweed Bank. Thank you says Scott Rail. Even in the rain, the border scenery looks good. This is Stan. This train is for Tweed Bank. The next stop is Gala Shields. And this plaque on Stow Station brings out the key dates that the main line, Edinburgh Carlisle, was opened in 1848, closed in 1969 in spite of a vigorous campaign to retain it, and reopened in 2015. Stow Station. Gala Shields is a very narrow station, it seems to be hemmed in by a road which no doubt was built on the site of the old station. Off to Tweed Bank. Time for a walk around Gala Shields which was once a thriving textile town. Then a beautiful bowl of soup in this lovely cafe. And to get onto the railway platform from the bus interchange you have to cross the main road. There's no other access. But there's something ironic about Gala Shields station being so unphotogenic when it is in the beautiful photogenic borders. And here's the train to Edinburgh, running three minutes late. Quick. Oh. Gala Shields and Oakhampton have something in common. What Gala Shields and Oakhampton have in common is that they were both significant towns on mainline routes which were closed and have subsequently been reopened. Out of curiosity I used the ticket vending machine at Gala Shields to see how much a ticket to Oakhampton is. Let's see if you can buy a ticket from Gala Shields to Oakhampton. Put in O. Now you'll see that I can't put in the K, so I can't buy a ticket from Gala Shields to Oakhampton. There was no station at Tweed Bank on the original route. Trains ran from Gala Shields to Melrose without an intermediate stop, and it would have been logical when they reopened the line to have reopened it to Melrose. But unfortunately, although the station is still ex in existence, the road alignment takes the bypass along the side of the station, which is why the new line terminates at Tweed Bank.
Tweedbank Station train arriving from Edinburgh. Due to strike action across Great Britain on Saturday, the 1st and 8th of October, train services on this route will be extremely limited. Just to confirm, there is a Gaelic version of the name Tweed Bank. Well, the car park at Tweed Bank Station looks quite busy. And there's the ScotRail Staff Centre. Nice surprise at Edinburgh Waverley in HST.